taking off. I'm taking off. Yeah, I'm taking off. I'm taking off. Yeah, I came from the bottom, I went to the top. Now I'm taking off. 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 I feel like my tribute video or whatever, my paying respect video to Kiritoriyama wasn't good enough. I didn't want to make another video, but since someone made a tribute edit, I think it'll be best to react to it and just soak up all the things that Akira Toriyama has done and did for me and the whole anime community. So we're just going to sit back, you know, relax, look what did, chill, and just enjoy the work. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, has passed away at the age of 68. This took everyone, the entire world, completely by surprise as we lost one of the greatest that inspired not only anime fans, but the entire world. Literally. As I'm sure most of you can agree with, Toriyama... What he means by that for the haters is that for the people who do not watch anime, like at all, don't really watch it that much or focus on it at all, right? If you go up to a person that doesn't watch anime and say Goku, they will know who that is. Shit, they may say Naruto as well. Like it's like it's like that. Like you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna go up to a person and be like Luffy and they're gonna know who the fuck you're talking about. You're not gonna go up to a person and be like Asta and they're gonna know who the fuck you're talking about if they never watch anime. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be like Sailor Moon. You're not gonna be like Astro Boy. Well, shit, you could have, that'll work because they made a movie out of those. You feel what I'm saying? The more recent movie, yeah. But most people know Goku. Yama's inspiration affected our lives since a very early age. I'm 38 years old and was introduced to Dragon Ball around the age of 10. Further, my favorite game growing up was Chrono Trigger, in which the art was done also by Akira Toriyama. In fact, he not only inspired me to become a YouTuber, I would never have made Goku vs. Saitama, Anime War, or my own series that I've been working on, which is fully inspired by the first anime I was ever introduced to, which was Dragon Ball Z. And I know for most of you, that's what he's most known for, but he has many other works as well. He's been creating works for over 45 years and his creations will live on forever, inspiring all of us. Naruto creator Masashi Kishimoto expressed his thoughts on the passing of Toriyama, saying that he grew up with Dr. Slump, eventually moving on to Dragon Ball, and every time he had some sort of bad life experience, Dragon Ball always made him forget about it. It was a relief for a country boy who had nothing. Ichiro Oda, the creator of One Piece, said it's too early for this, the hole is too big. The thought of never seeing you again fills me with sadness. I've admired you so much since I was a child, and I even remember the day when you called me by my name for the first time. I remember the day you used the word friend for us, and I remember the last conversation we ever had. Toriyama is one of the people who took the baton for an era when reading manga would make you look stupid and created an era where both adults and children read and enjoy manga alike. And it kind of makes me upset, but at the same time, it's like a relief. Like, you know what I'm saying? That anime is so popular now and that everybody is just on the wave and they're finally seeing that anime is so cool. But I used to get bullied for it. I know the creators who, the creators of Naruto and One Piece used to get bullied for reading it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you were automatically labeled as a weirdo or some, like, nerd or something for liking anime, literally. Now, if you don't like anime, it's like, what the fuck? You don't like anime? Like, I, get, I like it now, but, like, it's kind of like people who ride in the wave are trying to make the wave theirs. It's not, it's, it's kind of like... Our, it's like we're black people and our ancestors and all the hardships they went through and we're trying to say that we have it hard now. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. Or like, we just this and that and we raw and da 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 but you don't know your ancestors died and fought for you to be able to do everything you're doing now. Literally. Like, anime is so trendy now and going so crazy and it's like, ugh, you don't watch anime? 
But literally seven years ago, eight years ago, you'd literally get your shit laughed at or you'd get laughed at or called looked a certain way for watching anime. And it's it's kind of like, damn, y'all ain't even getting to go through hell. But at the same time, I'm glad it's acceptable now. Now nobody has to go through hell. You feel what I'm saying? He showed us how manga can bring us together. And he gave that to me. It was like watching a hero push forward. Dragon Ball is probably rooted in the childhoods of creators who are active in all industries, not just manga artists. The existence is a great tree. For manga artists in my generation who have stood on the same stage, the closer I got to Toriyama's works, the more I realized that they had a greater presence. Almost scary. Masako Nozawa, the voice of Goku, released her statement, that she doesn't want to believe it, her head is empty, and she doesn't want to think about it. Every time she sees Goku, she remembers what Toriyama said to her. You will take care of Goku, won't you? I cherish that moment, and it makes me think. I will stay by Goku's side until my strength runs out completely. Sensei, please watch over us from the heavens. We hope you depart in peace. Toyotaro, the current artist of the Dragon Ball Super manga, says that he drew manga because he wanted to be praised by Toriyama Sensei himself. It was everything to him, and as we know, the torch has been passed on to him. It's Even Yusuke Murata, on. the artist of One Punch Man, giving his thoughts as well. It seems that the entire world has come together to mourn the loss of our hero. Someone who not only created Dragon go Ball, but inspired Ball, all of us to be creative, Real strong, soon. fight back, and push our limits. What's interesting to me, as I'm almost 40 years old, is the fact that back in high school, when Dragon Ball Z was airing on Toonami, you would get made fun of for liking Dragon Ball Z. It was just this weird cartoon that looked different than other cartoons, and most people didn't understand it. And if you look at the response of the world after 20 years since then, now you get looked at funny if you don't watch anime. What did I just say? What did I just say? I know what I'm talking about. Anybody who was doubting me or saying I'm, I sound duh, 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 from watching the video, which I, you probably weren't even hating, but I just feel like there are people out here who is probably like, yeah, shut up. Duh, 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 duh. Now you understand, nigga. The real OGs know. All the OGs know. And none of this would have been created if it wasn't for Akira Toriyama. Literally. In fact, if he had... Anime, anime wouldn't have... Be... Listen, 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 listen. I want you to put this in perspective. Anime blew up and got really big during what? During COVID, right? That's when everybody was in the house and they just were like, fuck it, I'm gonna watch anime. Attack on Titan ended up pushing it out really good that's what i said in my in my um my video when i was paying respect to akira toriyama i was saying that fuck i just lost my train of thought you know then now you get looked at funny if you don't watch anime and none of this would have been created if it wasn't for Akira Toriyama. Oh, got the thought back. Fuck yeah. All right, look. If it wasn't for Akira Toriyama, like I said, anime wouldn't have gotten popular until years later. And I, my, my understanding is I think if Akira Toriyama would have never made Dragon Ball, the route anime would have took would have been a little bit more different. And it probably wouldn't have gained its popularity until probably around 2020, like the last couple of years, because this is when anime has really skyrocketed in popularity. Even though it was already known by millions of people around the world, 2020 caused like a whole shift in people's brain cells. And now like you look, you look down on if you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Without Kira Toriyama, it would have took years for anime to really touch people the way it's supposed to in fact because i personally feel like anime is like music there's a genre for everybody there's literally no way you can find an anime that you will like so if you don't like anime you haven't watched everything you haven't watched what you're supposed to watch you feel what i'm saying and then people are like you're lame for watching anime why the fuck are you watching cartoons and shit not even real 
bitch, you watch reality TV. You watch shows about somebody pretending to do something in real life. Or you watch something, you watch shows about somebody else's life. You're lame as fuck. You can literally go do the shit you're, you're watching people do on TV. But you want to tell me I'm lame because I'm watching people who don't even exist for real. But you're watching people who actually exist instead of going to get some fucking money. <laughs> like what? If he had never made Dragon Ball, the world itself would have been a drastically different place. As a manga sure. author myself, at times it's hard to understand guess, the boy. impact that you're having on other people's lives. You sit in your room drawing pretty much all day, if you're the artist as well, and then you release your art into the world. And you don't really get to see everybody reading it or see their reactions. You do get some nice comments and some mean comments, but it's... Have you been asking yourself how you get a job at a top tech firm like Google or Amazon? Well, this is for you. How at times, it can be difficult to understand the true impact you're having on the world. And I think we can all agree that Toriyama had the biggest of impacts on our lives. Dragon Ball Daima will be his last work. And I think... And I was talking so much shit about those. I said I was going to watch it regardless. But... I was talking so much shit about those. I was still gonna watch it regardless because I can't not watch Dragon Ball. I eat up everything they fucking give us. But I am watching Dragon Ball Dynamo. Bro. This is the last thing he worked on, literally. I can't. I can't. Not I think watch it's it interesting that Goku is a child again, and it's similar to Dragon Ball, which means that Dragon Ball is coming full circle for his death an almost perfect way to bring Dragon Ball back to the origins of the beginning. As many of you are questioning, what does this mean for the future of Dragon Ball? I don't really want to talk about it too much in this video because this video is more about showing you how much Toriyama meant to the world. I don't know what sort of contracts or how he's going to pass on the intellectual property to who. I don't know what's going to happen or how much Toriyama meant to the world. I don't know what sort of contracts or how he's going to pass on the intellectual property to who. I don't know what's going to happen yet. I assume that they will announce something sooner than later. Perhaps Toyotaro takes the reins. I think that everyone involved in the Dragon Ball franchise could use some time to take a break and mourn his passing. He was someone that lived on, on. many of which their entire lives sooner than later. Had to, had to the door. Perhaps Toyotaro takes the reins. All agree that Toriyama had the biggest of impacts on our lives. Dragon Ball Daima will be his last work, and I think it's interesting that Goku is a child again for his death. An almost perfect way to bring Dragon Ball back to the origins of the beginning. As many of you are questioning, what does this mean for the future of Dragon Ball? I don't really want to talk about it too much in this video because this video is more about showing you how much Toriyama meant to the world. I don't know what but sort of contracts or how he's going to... I think that Daima's going to start an entirely different thing. Hopefully. Me personally. Just to, like, give an idea. I think this is going to be an entire new route for the anime in a certain way. You get what I'm saying? To give it a more of a today's anime feel. It's probably going to be a lot more in-depth and, you know than what Dragon Ball usually is. Because, you know, the the um criteria for anime now with this new with the new generation of anime watchers is depth, complexity, and all this other shit. Like people should can't just watch the show no more to just watch it. It has to have some super deep thing, complex thing for you to sit there and nitpick about and think about all the time. But I do think it's probably gonna be something i'm not gonna say they're gonna make it complex i'm just saying they're probably gonna add some more depth to it to keep it relevant pass on the intellectual <laughs> property to who i don't know what's gonna happen yet i assume that they will announce something sooner than later perhaps toyotaro takes the reins i think that Bro, if it's crazy how like when goku in dragon ball z when they when we thought goku was like over 
it was the same thing like Goku, like Kirito Young was dying. Everyone Everybody involved was like, in the fuck drag. No, fuck no, we don't want Gohan being the main character. Dragon Ball franchise could use some time to take a break and mourn his passing. He was someone that literally everyone that worked on Dragon Ball looked up to, many of which their entire lives, he was the hero. He led the way and paved the path so that so many of us could move forward. Someone like that they got this nigga sounding like Martin Luther King of the anime world, bro. Russia. Should be held in the highest regard because it's incredibly easy to follow the path of other people. And you know what this also just reminded me of? I'm sorry, I keep pausing. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. This just reminded me of, you know how they said he was the hero looking forward? That's how Gohan seen Goku. Remember when he seen that pain of Goku's back? You always seen his back of him always moving forward and doing his thing. Here's how I was paving the way for anime as a whole, manga as a whole. And everyone was seeing his back, like seeing him push forward. And what makes it even more crazy is that Akira Toriyama in an interview said that Gohan is basically like him. If he was in the show, how he is, that's how Gohan, that's how he made Gohan. And that point of view came from Gohan. So it's like, this shit really is coming full circle back around after his death. But to lead the charge is the most difficult. You're traveling in uncharted territory where many people won't understand or appreciate your work. You're not sure if- By, by what I mean by that is that the way people- look up to him is the same way him as gohan looked up to this fictional character he made that pushes forward so in reality he learned from himself kind of like if that makes sense i don't know maybe but to i'm just lead the to charge is the if the most you get difficult. it you get it you're traveling in uncharted territory where many people won't understand or appreciate your work you're not sure if your methods or process or style will ever even work out because you're not following the path of other people. You're trying to create a new one. It's one of the most challenging endeavors a human can ever go through. It's easy to follow the path of others, but to create a path requires a true hero. One that is resilient, one that is not in it for the money, simply in it for raw, pure passion, which is infectious to everyone else. It's very possible that without Toriyama, we wouldn't have Naruto, One Piece, One Punch Man, and many of the rest. It's not that Dragon Ball was the first anime or manga by any means, but it was the one that sparked the revolution. Thank you. Dragon Ball fans love to fight, and it can be difficult for us to get along sometimes. After all, Dragon Ball is a show about people fighting each other and beating each other up, but not really at its core, that's just the surface. In any case, I hope that with the passing of Toriyama, we can all join together, at least for a brief moment. Stop the incessant fighting, stop who knows more about the series, who's the bigger fan, what's canon and what's not. Drop all of that and mourn the loss of the one who started it all. And Thank you, bro. That's exactly what I've been saying. Canon, this, this not canon. That's not canon. Enjoy the show. Stop with all that canon in depth bullshit. Just watch anime, bro. Just watch it. Enjoy the works of art, bro. People don't just enjoy shit no more. Everything has to have a purpose. Our purpose is living, breathing. Being here right now, you being able to be here. When your dad fucked your mom, you raced a million niggas. The odds of you being here right now is less than 1%. Why are you doing the most? Just enjoy life. Enjoy what life is giving to you. If you look at everything, if you try to always look for the bad, you'll only see bad. Always look for the good, bro. Just enjoy everything. Nobody wants to, nobody gives a fuck if it's not canon. Nobody gives a fuck. I enjoy it. Now, if you're doing a debate shit, I guess, I guess you can do it. Even though technically all the shit doesn't exist. None of it exists. None of it exists. 
So why not include Dragon Ball GT in debates and shit? Like, it's still Dragon Ball. It's the same exact shit, same character, same story, same everything. But because it wasn't exactly made by Toriyama, you know what I'm saying? By the author, by the main manga, or the main universe, even though Toriyama said every Dragon Ball anime or manga is canon because it's a different universe. Do you guys not even realize that the show you've been watching after Android Saga, it's not even the original universe anymore. Did you ever think about that? Did you? You don't realize Trunks is the original universe, do you? And that we're actually watching the non-canon universe. If you want to be technical, in Dragon Ball, the canon universe, Goku and everybody already died. To the hands of the androids. The years ago. You know what I'm saying? But Paved the path for anime in general. If Dragon Ball was never created, my life would be absolutely different because I got into all of this, all of it because of Dragon Ball. Not only did it get me to want to start drawing, get me to want to make my own anime and manga, get me introduced to other anime and manga. It was such a huge gateway for me to explore the world of anime and manga. It shaped I used my to draw Dragon Ball characters, anime characters, and all that shit, bro. That shit is crazy. Like, everything he's saying right now is literally me. That's how you know the influence of entire man life and my entire career, from some of my best moments to some of my worst when I was being picked on incessantly. But I'm a very happy man. I have pretty much everything I want in life, and I feel like I led the right path. As long as you follow your passion and your inspirations, you will always live the right path. Recently, we also lost another goat, Kentaro Miura, the creator of Berserk. Two absolute legends of the industry who inspired all of us, who wrote stories about that. trials and tribulations and difficulties, giving us characters we could sympathize with and learn from, explaining the realizations of their own lives through their stories, passing on the key takeaways. Bro, that I feel like I just got spoiled, bro. What? They've learned from life onto their followers, emphasizing the values of friendship and perseverance, personal growth. It's with a heavy heart that we mourn the loss of one of the greatest, Akira Toriyama. But his story will live on forever. forever Dragon bro. Ball will never forever. stop to inspire us to grow and be better and stronger and fight our battles, sharing our love for the story and showing us that following your passion in life can succeed greater than your wildest expectations. Hey, man. Uh, I appreciate y'all for tuning in to my channel, bro. I've been getting a lot of love lately. Y'all be doing great with my videos. We on the road to 3K, 5K, giving out another giveaway. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe, man. And arrest up a curatoriana. Thank you. I'm